Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the Art of Alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and on this YouTube channel we primarily do wig reviews, but I'm also very active on a few other social media platforms. I have my Instagram and my TikTok. You can also find me under the name The Art of Alopecia. I also have a Gmail account that you can happily email me any questions or concerns or reach out for support. Um, you can email me at theartofalopecia at gmail.com and I would be happy to chat. Alrighty, let's get into the real reason why you clicked on this video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing yet another human hair wig from the company Uniwigs. Guys, the amount of reviews that I've done by Uniwigs, it is getting insane now. I'm sure we're surpassing at least 12. I will have them listed all down below if you are interested in going to check them out. But simply to put it in short form, I love Uniwigs. I love working with them because they strive to be a budget-friendly wig company. Wigs can be so expensive and I love that you can get a good quality wig for a great price. They also have great sales going on and if they don't have a sale but you need a wig or a top or anything from their website you can always use my code and you can save whenever you want. But for today's video we are going to be reviewing the wig Seren or Serene. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it but we're going to go with Serene for now. I've already posted an unboxing video sneak peek on my Instagram but this is basically the box. I'm gonna put the fast track version right here. I love Uniwigs' packaging. They put so much effort and time into their packaging and I appreciate it. These boxes are great for storing your wigs um, to protect it from any dust or from any sunlight. And I love their box. Love is in the hair. That is just so adorable. And their tissue paper, so cute. It always comes with a drawstring bag, your human hair wigs. These are great for traveling or again to store your wigs helps keep the moisture inside the wig and then they always give you a whole bunch of goodies they gave me a brush well a brush comb a brush slash comb <laughs> they gave me cute little stickers i have no idea why they give them to me but i love them they are so adorable and it always comes with a wig cap Alrighty, let's get into Miss Serene introducing this gorgeous, gorgeous human hair piece. Elsa, I think she's wanting her hair back. Like this looks like Princess Elsa's hair. <laughs> she is such a stunning blonde. I'm gonna go through a few specs and then we're gonna throw her on. So Serene is a long blonde balayage, Remy human hair. She is a silk top lace front. I'm gonna get into the inside cap construction momentarily. Her color on the website, it says it's 688R vanilla cake. She is basically like a platinum blonde, like think Elsa and this is her real life hair. She is 22 inches in length. Um, her cap size is 22 inches in circumference. So that kind of equals to a medium size. It's quite large for my head. So just keep that in mind if you have a small peanut size head like me this might not be the wig for you I'm not sure if you can request a smaller size but it's always worth asking she is hundred and fifty percent in density a good medium density absolutely love her okay let's talk about the cap construction I believe part of their invisible knots collection so I'm gonna throw it on and then I'll tell you guys what I mean so she is a lace front from ear to ear but she has ear tabs which means once you cut the lace you do not have to worry about applying any glue or adhesive or any tape because the ear tabs are gonna stretch the lace comfortably so it's laying flat on your scalp which is great so this is an easy to throw on wig after you cut the lace unfortunately I can't cut the lace but she has a lace front from ear to ear with amazing ear tabs. And as you will notice, it is a silk top, but then look at how much silicone is placed throughout the cap. I would argue that this is basically a medical cap, not exactly a medical cap, but because of the amount of silicone, I consider this a medical grade cap construction. So it's very comfortable all around, very secure for my baldies who aren't growing any hair she is a machine wefted back and then we've got our adjustment straps at the back as well with more silicone on the back nape ultimately this is a great cap construction for those who 
are either starting their wig journey, who are looking for a budget-friendly wig, or someone who just enjoys an easy to throw on wig like me. I honestly always prefer the wigs that are easy to throw on rather than the ones that I have to glue down. Don't get me wrong, I do love my full lace wigs or my wigs that I need to glue down. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, but on a day-to-day -day basis, like this is just so much more convenient for me. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. So I have adjusted the straps accordingly. Again, this is a really big wig for my head, but we're going to make it, make it work for the sake of this video. She is so stinking gorgeous. And if you're new to wearing wigs, you want to make sure that the ear tabs are sitting right directly in front of your ears. If they are on top of your ears, then you are wearing it wrong. So just adjust it accordingly. And again, if you are a new wig wearer, I like to say the four finger rule as to where your front lace should sit. So four fingers from your eyebrows. Or if you prefer having a smaller or a larger forehead, that's the amazing things about the versatility of wigs because you can do that. Wow, wow, wow. She is seriously such a stunning color. I have been loving my platinum blonde wigs this year. I don't know, there's just something about them. I love it with the the dark features as well. I usually only do my eyebrows in this one color, except if I'm rocking a red wig. In that case, I will add like a little burgundy to my eyebrows to match, but this is so stunning. It is beautifully colored. It really isn't any rooting colors, so it really does remain consistent throughout. But that's not to say that down the line, if you wanted to add in some rooting colors to make it look a little bit more natural, then you absolutely can. Not saying that this is not natural, I'm just saying that obviously people who grow their hair and who dye their hair, they have to do this quite often to prevent seeing the roots of their actual hair color. Wow, this is so stunning. Let me show you guys the lace front. This is from their Invisible Knot collection. And honestly, I will say that the knots are pretty invisible. Like I can see them because I'm like looking at myself under a microscope, not actually, but like, you know what I mean? But like for the most part, they did a really incredible job. And the transition from the lace to the silk, also very well done. I mean, you can see it if you look up very, very closely, but barely. Like if I were to see someone walking down the street, I would not be able to notice that whatsoever. But yes, stunning natural hairline, natural transition. Just a very good quality wig for the price that it's at. Like I'm telling you, this is stunning. The hair quality, it's Remy Hue and hair. And honestly, it's very soft, no issues, no shedding whatsoever. This is like a great wig for the price that it's at. Absolutely stunning. I think the only thing that is, oh. Oh, does it have face framing layers? It does have very minimal face framing layers compared to the overall length of the wig. I just think adding in layers just makes the wig look that much more natural. But this, this wig is stunning. Let me give you guys a side profile. I'll do the other side just for you guys. She is absolutely stunning. Okay, let's talk about what you can and can't do with this wig. So again, keep in mind, this is a huge wig on my head. If you do have a head that is 22 inches in circumference, then this will fit perfectly. What I mean by it's too big is I can feel and I can grip a few wefts at the back, which indicates that it is too big. So styling will be a little bit 
limited because of that extra room. But it is a lace front, so you can absolutely have fun with like a half up, half down. Do French braids as long as it's within the realm of the silk, which is like here. You can absolutely do a low pony, but nothing too, too high because of the back nape. You could also do like a medium, a medium pony. I don't think that will be an issue, but just as long as you're staying conscious about the back nape, pulling some hairs down and doing all of that jazz. But again, if it's the, if the wig is too big for you, then I wouldn't recommend doing a medium pony because you might be able to see the wefts. Another thing that I would consider doing is adding in some baby hairs at the front. I do see that there are a little bit, but I think I would just add a few extra ones just to make it a little bit more natural. There is a great tool on Amazon that you can purchase. It's called a hair razor. It's literally what it sounds like. It's just the thing that raises razors your hair off <laughs> but again be careful be diligent just a quick note for those who are new to my youtube channel i only ever film my reviews in front of the natural lighting i'm in front of a huge window um, that's projecting beautiful light onto this wig so this is what the wig will look like in front of the natural lighting they only have one picture on their website under the serene wig that is in i'm assuming in front of a window for the most part it's in front of artificial lighting which is not bad but again this is a good representation of what the wig will look like in front of the natural lighting but anyways i think we have come to the end of this review again very very positive love uni wigs love that they are budget friendly and that they always have sales for my people who are looking for a nice beautiful unit on a budget again go check out their website don't just look at miss serene i i know it's tempting to buy miss serene because she's absolutely stunning but look at what else they have like go through all of the sections even they have options for men as well which is amazing they are just so versatile as a company they have everything and again if you're ever in need of of support then you can always reach out to their customer service but anyways i'm gonna stop mumbling because this wig is gorgeous i think everyone should get miss serene because she's outstanding she looks like elsa it's just simply such a gorgeous piece i can't stop smiling i'm just like so happy and i also love coral and blonde i love the color combination anyways i will stop mumbling go check out uni wigs use my discount code to save money off anything on the website and follow me on all of my other social media if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to continue seeing my face or more wig content and we will see you next time on the art of alopecia bye guys